Hello, I'm Jennifer Castoldi from Trendies International, live at Tech Textile. And today we have Anka Damasca here, who has invented an amazing textile made from milk. So our fiber is called Kimo and we are going to into production now. So we have a 1,000 tons capacity and we are running in a two-shift system. And what we are actually creating is a multi filament but we can also cut it to a stable fiber. Uh, we have a range of uh, 3.3, 1.7 and 6.1 uh, DTEX and we can cut it to a stable fiber of 10 millimeters to 60 millimeters. And we can and also give a crimp to it if wanted or you can air texturize it and what we have created already is a mixture with viscosi and Q-Milk and Elastane but you also can create a 100% Q-Milk product and um, yeah you can color it uh, like a wool for example because it's protein based fiber and you compare you combine the benefits of wool and silk. And what type of products are you using it for? Um, it really goes uh, in every range from clothing, of course, everything that's close to your skin, um, over outerwear, sportswear, over the technical specifications, you know, um, like uh, um, everything from loudspeakers um, to papers, over um, you know the home textile industry, especially bedding is very interesting, um, but it can also create carpets from it or any tissues and the automobile industry is interested for the interior uh, up to the medical field you know anything from wound dressing uh, to implants is possible with our materials well, fantastic well we wish you the best of luck thank you because what hardly anybody knows is that over two million tons of milk are disposed every year in germany alone which is a tremendous number and we're talking just about germany so it's also an international problem and those are tremendous numbers. And we are collecting this milk and we can um, create a, you know, a better um, product out of it and upcycle it. So, and you probably wonder, okay, how can it be that so much milk has to be disposed? And it's because milk is the most popular um, you know, food in the world. And you probably wonder how you can turn a liquid into a milk fiber. And you just have to imagine that when milk turns sour, you have at the bottom of the way, it's the yellow liquid, and then the top you have this white stuffing, you know, and you remove the whey and you have left the cottage cheese. And this is the dry to protein powder. So we put in uh, the protein powder, we add some water inside uh, two screws, and we need everything through to a cookie dough, and at the end we have a spin it. But the holes are so fine that you don't receive noodles, you receive fine textile fibers that are very similar to silk. And you know, the process takes only a few minutes. Uh, we use only a maximum of two liters of water. Um, the fibers are cleaned up, so we have absolutely no coagulation gas anymore, and that's why we have a zero waste process. And everything is produced at 80 degrees, so it's uh, also very energy efficient. Well, we have been getting quite some press and also the interest of all kinds of different technical folks. So it's not just clothing. Of course, there everything from underwear, over sports there, outerwear, you know, work there. Everything is possible um, with our fiber. But also the technical field is very interesting because of its inflammability and chemical resistance. And uh, the bedding industry is very, very interested and we get great over to the medical field and automobile industry. So then see our fiber also as smart fiber, so consider the antibacterial aspect, it's lightweight, so you have uh, light fabrics, light clothing, and it's also climate cool. So we are temperature regulating, and when you touch our fiber, so it gives us a feeling of um, a coolness, but it can also keep the warmth, which is quite interesting. So when you heat it up, it can keep the warmth for hours. And um, it's uh, still something we're trying to sort out, but uh, it's definitely a smart fiber. So the next we have a clothing made out of milk. The advantages would be that it's breathable, temperature regulating, antibacterial. 
it's UV resistant, it's very nice to wear because it has this very nice silky touch and if you're working in the bedding industry then um, it's probably interesting to know that it absorbs water so you're losing half a liter of water every night uh, also that it's antibacterial, that it also has this cooling aspect for a summer bedding but if you are uh, interested in, in a tissue uh, for you know, glasses and dishes uh, then yeah, you can see that you have a very smooth surface you don't have any scratches on the glasses and everything and um, those are the interest, uh, uh, interesting points anything that's from, made from side stream, from food side streams will be interesting sources uh, to work with and to create them into fibers thank you